I want to introduce to you NashaCode. This is a tool that I developed in 2023. What it is? NashaCode is a tool that predicts phenotype based on raw DNA. NashaCode predicts the eye color, hair color, and nose shape of the user based on raw DNA data. The work behind the data. This work would not be possible if I didn't have access to OpenSNP, a public database of user genotypes and phenotypes. My eye color predictor tool, which is the main, um, the main tool in my program, it, there is others, but this is, this is the most important one. Uh, it is based on my research involving 522 subjects and around 30 SNPs. For comparison, Snipper Free's eye color database consists of only 256 subjects and only 23 variations, which, which are mostly linked with each other anyway. Uh, the variations there are in OCA2 and HERC2, for the most part. Platform and development. NoshaCode runs on Windows systems. It should also run on Linux and Mac OS. NoshaCode was developed with C++ and the executable is around uh, 1 megabyte in size and the image file is half a megabyte in size. The price. Uh, creating this tool took a lot of effort on my part. I do not intend on giving away the software for free. The price for the software is $7. However, I have encountered some folks who had alternative raw data files. For example, Family 3 DNA's FastQ format or BAM. I do not want anybody to pay money for my app and then be unable to use it. So, prior to paying me and downloading the Shakot, I suggest you head to my GitHub and download Nosh, Nosh Shape Tool. It is free. If Nosh will work for you with your raw data file, so will Nashakot. Now I will show you how to run it. So this is my folder. Basically, I have a bunch of like DNA files in my folder, and uh, you want to have your DNA file. So this Andre would be my DNA file. It's CSV format from my heritage. Uh, you want to have it in the same folder as the actual tool, as the executable. That's very important. So we open the executable. Enter DNA file name. Uh, we're gonna enter my file name. That's CSV. Now we're gonna wait a little bit because it does take it does take a while for it does take a while for the tool to find all the SNPs within the file. It's not instant. I don't want to exit the uh, recording because I want to show you guys how uh, long it might take because you might open this and then have this long wait and you decide to close it and you think it doesn't work. But it does work, you just haven't waited long enough. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer. There it is. So it opens this image, uh, like eye colors. Uh, interesting thing about this image is the green eye color is actually my eye color. It's literally just my eye that I put there. Um, so let's look at what we actually get. So first we get this. Uh, it's a it's a list of SNPs that are used for hair color calculation. Uh, SLC 45A2, IRF4, TIRP1, the genes KETOG, OCA2, HERC2, uh, FANCA, MC1R. That's basically the genes that uh, my software looks at to analyze hair color. So next, and this is, this is not that important for, for hair color. Um, I just kind of merged my own research with Snipper Freeze research. So it's, it's a pretty big database, but it's not, that, it's not as big as the eye color, color database, and it's not as detailed as the eye color prediction. So next is the eye color prediction. Uh, I'm really proud of this. Uh, this this is a big list, right? Even visually, it looks like a pretty big list. Uh, this is uh, the S&Ps that it looks at. Uh, whenever you see something like this, this means that uh, the S&P was not found in the file. Or this, like, if you get this, that means that the S&P was not found in the file. It's basically number of light alleles. It should be either 1, 0, or 2. It should not be like 400 something, whatever. But mo you can see most were found. Most were found in my file. Uh, next is the for nose shape, the tool for nose shape. Uh, every SNP was found in my file. That's very neat, very pleasant to look at. Uh, so what do we get next? Next we get the eye color Vahadu coordinates. I will return to these later uh, to discuss them later in the video. But this is the coordinates. Uh, you can compare your eye color genes with various other world populations. The eye color estimate. Uh, likelihood of blue eyes, 17.8%. I don't have blue eyes, so whatever. Likelihood of blue eyes with amber center, 35%. Uh, you could argue that my eyes are blue with an amber center, but they're really not. They're green. 
uh, likelihood of green eyes 23 percent so it's still it's kind of in the ballpark for me for me it's not as uh accurate as for other people actually uh, like uh, likelihood of hazel eyes 18 percent mm, not not at all uh, brown eyes four percent not at all dark brown eyes 0 0.1 percent yeah not at all so ethnic classification of nose shape this is uh what it does is it classifies your nose shape based on like based on your S&Ps, based on your genes, uh, how closely it resembles Estonians, Indians, American Natives, Western Europeans, uh, Oceanians, Sub-Saharan Africans, Middle Easterners, whatever, all these populations. Uh, and my nose shape most closely resembles Estonians and Western Europeans. Uh, the likelihood of Greek nose and snub nose for me is pretty much equal, uh, which is, I guess, accurate. My nose is kind of inter intermediate between a uh, Greek nose and a snub nose. And for hair color estimate, uh, likelihood of red hair for me is 6%. Uh, I think it's a little bit high, but I, I don't know. I think it's maybe it's accurate. Likelihood of blonde hair for me is 28%. Uh, I think it should be a little bit higher, but uh, I guess it's accurate. Likelihood of brown hair 57%, you could argue. You, you could argue my hair is brown, yeah. And likelihood of black hair 7%. So. Ooh, okay, uh, let's go back to the uh, Vahaduo coordinates. Let's copy them and put them in Vahaduo. Alright, so these are my eye color coordinates on Vahaduo. You can see who I'm closest to. In terms of eye color genetics, I am closest to Estonians, then Middle East, then Northwest Euro, then South Asians, then Americans, Africans, East Asians are at the bottom there. Uh, so, you can model my eye color um, my eye color genes as a mixture of 63.6% Estonian, 20.8% African, 9.0% Northwest European, 66 .6 Middle Eastern. Uh, it's not that accurate. It's only based on like 30, 30 S&Ps you have to keep in mind. So it's not going to be a precise, precise, uh, it's not going to be very precise. But it's fun. It's, it's a fun little tool to use. Uh, let's do uh, this call one. Yeah, so half Estonian, half Middle East. That's with a very high uh, distance column. Okay. So, uh, for some files, my my program will not work. My Nosha code program. And I talked about it in my presentation, right? So, there is a way you can check if Nosha code will work with your, with your file. And in order to check that, you go to my GitHub uh, and you click on this Nosh, Nose Shape tool. So, Try this tool, it's free, download it, um, work with it. If it works for you, then Nosha Code will work for you as well.